A common misconception that you'll hear from small businesses is that Facebook advertising is just too expensive. They've heard rumors of how outrageously high priced the ad platform is, and when you assure them that's not the case, they come back with the same question. So how much does Facebook advertising actually cost then? And then some advertisers are stuck because there is no one easy answer or a flat rate they can throw out. That's because Facebook ads works on an auction-based system where all advertisers are bidding to have their ads show up in a finite number of placements in users' feeds. And here's where it gets a little extra complicated. Not only do you have to deal with the chaos that comes from a live auction with unpredictable competitors, but a number of other factors will affect your CPC also. To the best of our ability though, here is the best answer possible. Facebook ad costs change, but you get to dictate the budget you set. If you only want to spend, say, $10 per week, you can do that. You may not get as much out of the ad spend as you want, however, and there's where the actual cost per click and cost per actions come into play. Your cost per action or cost per click is essentially going to dictate what kind of bang you can get for your buck. And these costs vary wildly. According to some popular data, however, it's clear that the average CPC hovers somewhere around $1.70, though this can increase or decrease significantly based on factors like industry or objective. A study from WordStream, for example, found that the finance industry had a CPC of $3.77 while retail was only shelling out a CPC of 70 cents. And AdEspresso found that impressions could cost up to $5.99 within 2017, while link clicks cost as little as 19 cents on average. When it comes to this fluctuation, there are a large number of factors at play that can determine whether a good baseline for you is a 10 cent CPC or a $4 CPC. The first is going to be your relevance score, which is a number between one and 10 that tells you how relevant Facebook thinks your ad is to your audience. Higher scores often get more results, but they also have a distinct benefit of a lower CPC. The audience you choose will also play a role because certain audiences are more in demand overall than others and therefore they may cost you more. Sometimes a smaller audience will also drive up costs when compared to a larger one. Objective and optimization choices, as we've seen from the Ad Espresso data, can result in changes in ad cost as you start bidding on different actions. And of course, the bid itself will hold weight in what you could end up spending if you decide to set one manually. Placements are the last big factor that can affect CPC with options like Instagram costing more than Facebook and the audience network costing less. Diversifying your placement options when relevant, therefore, can help you get the most out of your ad spend overall. As you're trying to keep your ad costs down, remember that there are things you can do to help. These include to run more retargeting campaigns, keeping your placements diverse, maintaining a high relevance score, split testing, and creating small niche audiences and writing targeted copy just for them. These tips will help you to make sure that you're getting the lowest ad cost possible for you. And as long as you're keeping up with these strategies and maintaining a positive return on investment, you're on your way to profitable, successful ad campaigns, despite whatever these costly rumors have said.